11.10 a.m. Hong Kong time. Uh, just a little over eight hours remaining in the flight. As we, uh, 8.08 remaining, so perfect time to try to get some rest. If I don't sleep for a full eight hours, that's okay because we get in at uh, 7.17 p.m. And by the time I get to the hotel, we'll figure around 9 p.m. And then three hours or so, and then midnight will be time to get ready for bed again. So uh, actually, it's probably better if I don't end up sleeping eight hours because then I'll be more tired to try and fall asleep. But anyway, uh, I'm talking softly because other people are sleeping around me. But uh, for those of you who have not uh, had the fortune to be able to travel in United Polaris business class, uh, I just wanted to kind of show you uh, the process of making up uh, the flat bed. I'm very lucky today in that not only did I get upgraded into Polaris business class, but there's also an empty seat uh, next to me. So, uh, you know, it's like my own kind of personal suite here, which is just so extremely comfortable and makes the time go by so fast. We're seven hours into the flight already. And, uh, you know, it feels like two hours. <laughs> I mean, I've really gotten hardly anything accomplished. I didn't even watch a movie. Um, I've been staring out the window a lot and I'm not really sure what else I've been doing. But anyhow, so uh, with the new Polaris service that launched in December, they've upgraded all of the bedding. So you get three pillows. This first one with the Polaris uh, logo. This is called a cooling memory gel foam pillow and it's quite firm but also kind of squishy and I'm not really sure about the cooling gel I mean it doesn't really feel cold to the touch but uh, so you have that pillow and then I'm not sure who that's made by but then the, all the other bedding is produced for United exclusively by Saks Fifth Avenue so you have a small size travel pillow here and then you have what's pretty much a full size standard uh, pillow as well so that is three pillows then there is a uh, mattress cover that you can put on over your seat to give it a little extra cushioning and then the uh, nice uh, duvet blanket also from Saks Fifth Avenue all nice and wrapped up with a bow so what I need to do first is put on the mattress cover and uh, I need two hands to do this so let me see here if I can put the camera well let me first um, the first step before you start putting on the mattress cover is you've got to recline your seat into a 180 degree uh, flat bed and you can see the seat controls here and this is the great one for bed so i will just hold uh, this button down here to make my uh, seat into a bed footrest here extends all the way out to a little ottoman on the end so it's flat and that's all there is to it the only thing that's kind of weird is that this headrest does not detach so you are um, sleeping with your head uh, on this headrest which is like kind of an extra pillow and then I try to put like the small pillows back in here and then the big pillow over top of this and detach the headrest cover because that just kind of gets in the way but I'll put that back before uh, disembarkation. Now you have a, uh, a reading lamp here with one, two, three, four, five, I guess four, okay, four levels of brightness. Okay, so now is where I need two hands, so I'm going to 
try to put this over here. start over when I actually get it uh, steady. Uh, one thing I forgot to show you is the United Polaris Business Class Amenity Kit. Uh, this is uh, quite nice with lots of uh, little items you might need there in the flight and there's a couple that I want to get out for sleep. And this doesn't quite line up here. Let me see if I can raise it up a tad and then try hitting the bed button again. And there's just a small little gap there so I guess it's okay. So anyway, so here's the amenity kit. Uh, you get a sleep mask, which I will be using, earplugs, uh, this is the Do Not Disturb sticker. I have to let the flight attendants know that you are sleeping and do not want to be woken up for any snack or meal service. And you just put that here above your monitor. And then let's see, oh yes, here in the uh, cow's head uh, item, we have this uh, little bottle of uh, sleepy cow relaxing pillow mist um, and you uh, spray this on your pillow to create a peaceful atmosphere and help relaxation and well-being I don't know it seems kind of silly to me but it's here so I'll use it it does have a good kind of like lavender scent I think let's see with essential oils of lemon myrtle Melissa and valerian So, uh, what else? There's um, a lip balm, hand cream, and uh, for the women, like a refreshing towelette to remove makeup. Also have a little baggie of Kleenex, which fortunately I have not had to use. A little toothbrush with toothpaste, and some peppermints, and some hand sanitizer. Uh, the amenity kit also comes with uh, the Polaris branded uh, socks for you to wear on the plane. You take, can take your shoes off and just put these over your regular socks. Uh, so those are nice and comfy. And then uh, if you see here, I have on the United branded uh, pajamas that come in Polaris class for you to sleep in. And, and you can take those home to keep. So very comfortable. You don't have to sleep in your jeans and uh, collared shirt. All right, so I'm getting out my uh, earplugs, mask, pillow mist spray. And now I'll try to set the camera up to film the bed making process.
movie trailers. So I'll have it to lean up against. Now time to unwrap the Saks Fifth Avenue uh, duvet. I love the little uh, like bow tie cord they have around it. Some airlines, especially if you're in three cabin first class, the flight attendants will make the bed. Oops. They will make the bed for you. But um, there's 50 passengers, well, 50 seat capacity here on the Boeing 777-200. So the uh, flight attendants, I guess, don't have time to make up all the beds. Now we're not full today. I think we have maybe 40 passengers. Why I'm lucky to have this empty seat next to me. That's okay, I can make my own. There's a small channel between the islands. So this way, this is France Joseph land, Russia up here. I don't think it's inhabited, uh, but I believe these two islands are uh, here between the Barents Sea and the Kara Sea. So we're heading there now, and then we will reach the Eurasian continent somewhere in this vicinity while I go to sleep. Now let's take a quick peek outside before I uh, say goodnight as we head toward uh, Russia and nothing but clouds so nothing to see and good night everyone